hello and welcome back to my channel today we will be doing a tarot reading for Elisa Lam's case her body was recovered from a water tank on top of the Cecil Hotel in downtown Los Angeles on February the 19th 2013 to be honest I haven't really got to read more about this case there's just something so creepy about this case i can't really bring myself to finish the whole documentary or to read more about this case so now i would like to just let the tarot guide me through and we'll see what we can pick up about this case Okay, let's see what we have here. We have Daughter of Swords, Mother of Pentacles, Mother of Swords, Three of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Mother of Pentacles, and Five of Pentacles. I think that the Mother of Swords here represents her mom's energy. Uh, because this will be her card as daughter of swords I believe that she was a brilliant young woman who was having her own world and she tried to express her own thought in a way that she thought Good. She knew what she wanted. She was someone who would stand up for herself no matter what. She was a strong young woman, I, th I believe. Ace of Swords appeared here. So I believe that uh, what happened to her was a murder. And the Four of Wands here, I think that it might have something to do with having fun with the wrong crowd with the five of cups here i believe that she had a mental issue and that she consumed something that might make her couldn't really think clearly and that it made her started to hallucinate or saw something that wasn't there I also believe that she was kind of sensitive with the energy around her I don't know who the mother of pentacles um, here but it might have something to do with um, the cover up as like whoever did the killing was kind of hiding behind someone who is much stronger and in control and helped to cover up the mess that this person caused. I think that the mother of Elisa probably has her own theory about what happened to her daughter but it's like she was fed with some information and that she was forced to collaborate or cooperate with it okay so let's just draw more cards to get more insight
Okay, so I've done a few readings before and this car seem to keep on appearing and for some reason I keep picking up on a cult something related to a cult especially with this case and it appeared it really makes sense I mean a lot of other cards are repeating but I sometimes get different reading out of it but with this card it really strongly suggest that a cult is involved in this and with her case here I believe that this also tells that it involves some sort of spirit world but what happened to her was not done by the spirit it's not what I mean but it's more like she was picking up on the spirit things that's been going on around her especially in that hotel where she stayed and I think that is why she did that thing in the elevator as we saw and she probably done another thing that wasn't shown to us I believe that some of her recording was hidden from the public and that they chose which one to release to the public I believe that she did something even more than what just been shown to us yeah and the seven of swords here clearly tells that she was kind of defending herself about it and that she was trying to do something about it but i think with her mental state she couldn't really find a good way to get herself out of that situation um, with the king of swords here I don't feel that this is um, her father's energy but I rather like someone who is a leader probably still relating to the cult like the leader of it with the ace of wands here I think that she might have met someone there who she thought or wished she could have a relationship with okay so with the three of calces two of swords and the four of calces these three speak to me that these were her mental state at one time she would just happy and go out and have fun and the other time she would just struggling um, whether or not she should do this or that it's like she was confused and another time she was feeling left out or that she didn't want to get out she just want to be with herself and probably was feeling depressed also and with the sun card here i feel that she was having a goal that she would want to achieve she was having a big dream she would want to pursue but then it was stopped by what happened to her The chariot here, I get a feeling of a gangster vibe with this card. I don't know how this relate to her whole case, but that's what I feel with this card. And to look at the shadow card with the five of pentacles and the ten of wands here, I don't feel that what happened to her was planned. It was more like a accidental thing and with the ten of wands here it makes me feel that someone was carrying her body and moving her to that water tank so i believe that she died somewhere else and that this person tried to cover up what happened and move her body
As we can see here, there are two cards, one about sensitivity and the other one is clairvoyance. These cards represent that she was highly sensitive and she could even see spirits and that she was a clairvoyant. That explains why she had this mental illness because she didn't really know how to deal with this gift that she had. And with the gentleness card here, I feel that she should be surrounding herself with people who would understand her better and would probably encourage her to use her gift in a better way. So to sum up the reading, I think that what happened to her wasn't a suicidal thing. She didn't commit suicide. She was killed by someone and that the cover up was done not just by the killer, but it's more like I, I feel that whoever done the killing was not the one who did the cover up. So it was more people involved Okay, so that is all for me today about Elsa Lamb's case. And once again, this is for entertainment purpose only. I would like to invite you to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. I now hope to see you on the next Unsolved Cases Star Reading.